Hello everyone and welcome to Angel Healing House and welcome to Walk In Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom for this upcoming week of July the 9th through July the 15th, 2023. My name is Claire Candy Hoff and my name is also Angel Ariel as I had an angelic walk-in experience on January 11th of 2003, which I write about in my award-winning number one Amazon International bestseller, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, the autobiography of Angel Ariel. I'd like to welcome back my loyal subscribers, my followers. It's lovely to be in your energies once more. Thank you so much for liking and sharing and subscribing to the Claire Candy Hoff YouTube channel and recommending these videos of inspiration, motivation, clarity and direction to others. And if you're new, let me share a little bit about myself through my full-time business, which I created 20 years ago. Angel Healing House is my business where I am a full-time Reiki master teacher. I'm also a clairvoyant, psychic, intuitive, tarot card reader. I also do past life clearings and ancestral healings, as well as those wonderful, transformative, re-energizing and re-energizing uh, Reiki energy sessions, which can either be done physically in my office or anywhere in the world through distant healing. If you're interested in any of my award-winning books, if you're interested in any of those, my services, please go to my website, which is Angel healinghouse.com or you can always phone 831-277-3716 and remember that is Pacific Standard Time. I'd like to thank all those people who have made donations for my free content. Uh, perhaps you've received some motivation, inspiration, direction, or clarity from these, um, even entertainment value. Um, and, and if you'd like to donate, I have left my PayPal link in the description box down below with all of my contact details. So here on Walk in Angel Ariel's weekly, weekly Wisdom, we do go to the runes and uh, we see what the runes have to say about this upcoming week's energies. We also go to the tarot cards, we go to oracle cards, but before we do any of that, we always go and look in the celestial heavens at the astrological and planetary um, events that are causing um, different energies that are affecting us. Well, the big energy, which many are still reeling and are rocking from, is the Capricorn full supermoon, which was on July the 3rd. Its energy was very big because it was restoring 33 years of imbalances and karma which was clearing the path for our lives to begin anew. It is called a supermoon because it came significantly closer to Earth than usual full moons, making it appear bigger and brighter and more powerful. And with being a supermoon, it's ramping up the usual full moon energies of things like releasing and letting go and surrendering all that is no longer serving us. Hence, clearing the slate of the past 33 years of karma. Now, this great releasing energy is helping to make room for much more aligned relationships, careers, business opportunities, and for many new living locations to come in now. Up until now, there were many in the collective who deeply felt that they would be moving. But now, with these Capricorn energies, many are actioning their desires and they're making it a reality. This full moon is helping the collective to really dig deep, to find their strengths. And regardless of anything else, they are drawing from their conviction to their faith, trust, and wisdom within to keep stepping forward to following our dreams. The Posse of Angels, this is my angelic family who I am part of. The Posse of Angels is saying that if we take action toward making our dreams a reality, we will be supported in monumental, miraculous ways now. I've often said that every time we follow and take action on our intuition, 
we will receive the helpful, necessary information that we're looking for, we'll meet important connections, helpful people, or we'll be led to opening more of our path to the fulfillment of our dreams and our desires. This wonderful Capricorn full moon will see, many of us will, will see the hard work and diligent efforts um, in the collective finally paying off. Now the Posse of Angels is encouraging us to say yes, yes to growth, and to use the passion inside of us to create the life we desire. This means releasing the old and saying no to the things and people that are lowering our vibrational frequency, which absolutely blocks our growth. And if this full moon was not enough of a help to level up, one day after that full moon, we entered the Sirius, that's S-I-R-I-U-S, gateway, which has been adding to our ability to grow and to progress. Each of us has the opportunity to transform our lives now, or we can block or delay it because of fear. Yesterday's July 7th, 2023 was 777, the 77 portal, and it was a turning point in so many ways for the collective. Even though many are faced with challenges at the moment, underneath those trials and or tests that we are going through, the energies feel different now as if we are stepping onto a new path with a new perspective. Perhaps this is because many of us are operating from a heightened clarity, which is helping us to separate our ego selves or external voices and only defaulting now to our intuitions as our greatest guide to co-create with spirit for our soul's highest purpose. For those who choose to transform their lives now and take action towards that change, the power of the 777 portal will help us to open to unexpected information, unexpected knowledge, unexpected connections, and making us ready for growth and expansion. And if we work with it, it will, in many cases, help us to jump timelines. This massive purging that many in the collective have felt over the past weeks is because of that clearing of generational karma. It may feel like we're going through a reset. You might have felt like you were losing ground, collapsing into deep emotional um, feelings, tears. Old fears may have surfaced and thoughts about how possibly you let down yourself and the collective by allowing your vibrational energies to dip down low. But the Posse of Angels, and I wish for all of us to look at it as though we've gone through a full system upgrade on our computers. And as many of you know, once the upgrade is done, what do we have to do? Well, we have to turn the computer off and hit restart. This is what is happening to many in the collective currently. We are being put on pause while everything around us shifts and changes to now match the resonance of these heightened energies within us. This reboot of our entire system is preparing us to rise again. Whatever you're going through, please know that it is temporary and the new will emerge when the timing is divine. Now, if you are experiencing deep emotional dips, allow yourself to cry. Really feel it. Know that you are releasing all that simply cannot go with you as you shift into your new life. In fact, things need to shift in order to deliver those things that you have been asking and praying for. Some of those things will be sudden, new, better realities, with new manifestations bringing in great news and sudden happy outcomes 
and breakthroughs. Many of us are going through those breakdowns so that we can go through breakthroughs and that we can receive our blessings. Now this could be in love, it could be in our career or business jobs, it could be or good and great news suddenly happens to bring happy outcomes. This could be in, in areas of good fortune, all things are now changing in our external world and the reason for this is because of our ener energetically heightened energies inside. So naturally our realities have to change. Remember the collective is now shifting from where they were stuck in karmic cycles to now being completely liberated and free to shift years ahead to where we are meant to be with who we're meant to be with and doing what we absolutely adore doing. When I went to my rooms, this one came out for today. And again, I was not surprised. This one is the rune Dagats, the rune of disruption. It's also the rune of change, of freedom, of invention, and liberation. Now, drawing this rune indicates a pressing need to break free. My next week's Angel Healing House radio show, as I said, is breakdown, to break through, to bring in blessings. The funny thing about this rune is that while it speaks about disruption, it points to things which are totally out of our control. You cannot figure this out. Hence the guidance of our soul's highest purpose. With all this clearing of karma, many in the collective are now clear enough to know what direction to go in. Now, whether you choose to go in that direction or not, you have free will. There is no right or wrong. There's just whether you choose to step forward or not. But it's as if many are waking up from a long, long sleep to rip away any of our previously constructed reality, which in many cases was a compromise, and to now create the reality that we truly wish to manifest. To attain those heartfelt wishes and manifestations, those disruptions can come in many forms. They come in the reforms of, in, in the forms of relationships may be breaking down. A source of supply dries up. The place where one lives no longer resonates with us and becomes downright uncomfortable. But do remember, whatever that disruption looks like for you, you co-created it as a test for yourself. You're not a victim. There is nobody to blame. Anyone or anything that appears outside of you you have co-created it to happen with your thoughts, your words, and your actions. Some of the most uncomfortable things that happen to us get us to move on and make movement. I heard from a client the other day that said their landlord rose their rent. They had a rent rise. Um, and... Um, I asked them if they had been thinking about moving and they said yes for the past two years they've been thinking about moving and now this was the icing on the cake to get them out of there. But remember whatever that disruption looks like for you, again it was a test and the more severe the disruption or test, the more significant and the timelier the requirements for your growth and it is this growth and this disruption that will open the doors for many to obtain their wish fulfillment. So thank you, Dagats, for coming in and showing us that this disruption is our way to freedom and liberation. The messages that came in today from the Wisdom of the Oracle, which I love this deck. I'll just show you what that looks like collect there and read these lovely cards. Um, it's a three-card story today. 
with the posse of angels wanted me to share. And the first card is by the book. Take note of the flags. The flags are a sign of celebration of many people feeling this freedom of stepping forward. 11 is a master number. You have now mastered where you are, the relationships, the careers, those things that are no longer working. You've mastered that and you've mastered the ability to move on from there. But this one is called By the Book. And by the book refers to the way that our prayers will be answered because of universal laws, like the law of abundance, the law of attraction, the law of compensation, the law of nature, and a biggie is the law of karma. And there are many others. Although we may rant and we may rave against these laws, they do create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision which is absolutely beyond human understanding. The greatest thing that we can do now is that once we've taken action to our dreams, because we are co-creating our lives with spirit, but we have to do our action. Once we have taken action to our dreams, then we must allow the universe to unfold it in the highest possible order. We need to release resistance to allow for the universals, universal laws um, which to come in and correct any disharmony and bring about desired results for us. But not in our timing and not in the expected ways that we are attached to. So things have to be done by the book. If they're not by the book and they're not by these universal laws, then uh, we will possibly get a result sooner, but it will not be with the people that are most aligned with us, with our soul tribe. It will not be in the areas which we will flourish and thrive the most, and uh, we will feel like that next move will be a compromise. So allow those universal laws to work for you. Um, they will work for you, especially if you have taken action on uh, making movement towards where your intuition is telling you to move to, telling you to, you know, um, say uh, goodbye to those relationships that are causing you pain or not, not fully understanding you anymore, all of those things. You need to take action towards that so that you don't take those things into a brand new beautifully high dimensional reality for yourself. The next card that is coming in is this one, is a number four, is higher power. Now, number four is about a, a solid, stable, secure foundation. It's built on something that you can take to the bank, that you could put your money on, that's, that's stable and secure. But uh, with this one coming out after the um, after the card of um, of by the book, it's affirming to us that to allow the universe, the higher source, to take the reins now and bring about results in the way things are supposed to play out for now, our soul's highest purpose. So, the third card that came out now is. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. With so many of us having ascended into a higher sense or a higher states of consciousness, we've either fully entered or are going in and out of non-measurable time. Some people call this zero point energy, which where all is happening in the present moment. With this experience of timelessness, there's only that which we desire to create. And we do not have to, in the higher dimensional frequencies, we do not have to compromise or settle for less. Knowing this, it is of great importance to release our agenda, our limited agenda, as to when and how things need to manifest. But what we can do 
is we can, we can claim that whatever we wish for is already ours. The reason for this is because miracles don't happen anywhere else but in the present moment, right now. And they always show up when we need them, right on time. And so it's a three. Three is the number of wherever two are gathered in that higher source power. Miracles happen. Number three is the number of miracles in creation. So allow the universe to take the timing that it needs to bring you your new reality. And all you need to do is do the next thing that your angels, your intuition, that higher power, God source creator, whatever universal, whatever you want to call that, when you get that intuitive feel, take that next step forward. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about the big picture. Just action that next step because that next step will then open up the next step for you to see it and to action it. Now the Posse of Angels is saying for us to keep in mind that this which is going to be different for each one of us, whether it's a new relationship or if we're physically moving or a new job offer, has already happened in our life. And now we will see the next step forward. So much they want us to know has been going on in the etheric realm with everything you've prayed for, with everything that your heart desires, all of this, they've been putting into place the people you need to meet, the, the places you need to move to, those job offers or those opportunities or all of those things. It's already happened. So the more that, the more that you can claim it, the more that you put your um, heart and soul and, and nerve endings at ease, and you're not waiting anymore. You're just saying thank you. The people who needed or need to help you were being synchronistically put in place. Your intuition led you to take steps in faith and absolute trust. Having taken those steps in faith, many were made to wait it out. Wait it out and allow their realities to come into desired form. For many, this meant staying where they were. And, and you know, we took the steps forward and now we're feeling a bit blindfolded, like our hands are bound. But we're, we're put in this position because our new realities are starting to take form and will appear right in front of us. Many in the collective, if they've taken action towards their heartfelt desires and gone in the direction that their intuition is telling them, many will see tangible evidence of the end of a cycle. Now, the end of that cycle and that those, those 33 years of karma being wiped off the slate, that will create um, space for money to be made available so that you can physically move or even have the gas money to you know, get a, get a U-Haul and, and take your belongings elsewhere. Or you'll be able to get a place easily that you can afford the deposit. And all of these things are now putting into place. And we can't figure this out. And we now must allow what our prayers and our wishes, our desires and intentions, the energies behind that, plus the things that we've actioned, now we must allow that all to cook and bake and seep in together to then bring us a very new reality. A good exercise to keep us only in the present moment and not waiting for something to happen because if we wait for something to happen, we'll always be waiting, is to affirm thank you. Thank you for whatever I desire. And to make this move, to make this new step that I'm taking, um, uh, you know, desirable. Say it as if it's already yours, because it is. You've already created it in the etheric. Be sure to remain positive, 
open to receive and high vibrational in your thoughts and words for this aligns with our highest calling. It's no good if you have done these things and your vibrational frequency is low and it's a naysayer and you wallow in fear and worry and all of these things because that's going to close you down to receiving. The more you can say thank you and the more that you're open to receive, that's when miracles can come in. Let's go to my angel house, healing house tarot deck and see what comes in. I hope everyone is well. I know there are lots of people who may still be on holidays for, uh, from July the 4th. Lots of people here, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, um, go away for the July 4th holiday. I hope you're all well. And I hope um, you're all happy and having a, a lovely summer. For those that are in the Southern Hemisphere, all my wonderful, beautiful family and, uh, and friends, um, down under, down under in Australia in the Southern Hemisphere. I hope you're all well and uh, and getting acclimated to winter having in there. A lot of people don't know about Australia. You know, they, they think it's all kangaroos jumping down the street. And I lived there for 25 years and kangaroos don't jump down the street, especially in the cities. <laughs> um, and they think that, you know, everyone's wearing Speedos and, and surfing and, and it's beach weather all year round. But it's not like that, especially in Melbourne and in Sydney, um, Adelaide, um, you know, um, in Perth. It gets really go. It does get pretty chilly there. Um, we actually have snow in the Blue Mountains, but um, but it, it it's very very cold. Tas Tasmania, it, it gets pretty frosty there. So be well, be safe, and stay warm. Let's go to the cards and see what comes out for us this week. Any other messages? Posse of Angels. First card coming out for us is the World card. This is the card of travel, but mostly it's the card of cycles ending, which with every end of a cycle comes a new beginning. Look at that laurel wreath that she is having above her head. She is celebrating celebrating all that she's been through, all that she's endured, the trials, the tribulations, what she thinks are the good and the bad that she's been through, um, when in actual fact it is all good. Because if you've come across roadblocks, it makes you stronger, it makes you more resilient, it makes you find solutions that you might not never have found unless there were those blocks there in your life. So celebrate. It's time for you to uh, start a new cycle and to bless and celebrate the cycle that you've been through. I love that design. She's also melting into the, the green and the blue of that is melting into the world. Being at one, being at one with the world. And the world is changing into a world of light. And it's so wonderful to see that. Next card that's coming out for us is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. Just like this was a new beginning, this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning around abundance. It's a new beginning, a new start, fresh, a fresh phase of our lives. And it's coming in with a great deal of abundance. Now, um, nothing that I designed in these tarot cards are, um, are superfluous in any way. The, the a rabbit is getting us to be creative, fertile, fertile with passion and creativity to start our new lives. The turtle is slow and steady wins the race. Do the next thing that, um, that comes to your heart, that comes to your intuition. And the bear at the back, oh, the bear is very, very powerful. It's like many of us are now, we're coming out of hibernation. Many of us are, are it's like we're shaking ourselves off and looking around and saying, I can't live here anymore. I have to move on. Um, uh, you know, um, I can't do things in the same old way. Um, not just to shake things up, but because we are so different, our realities and what we do are going to change. And so that the bear, after a long time hibernation, comes into the light of day and says, 
I'm hungry for more. I am hungry for more, as many of us are. So there is a new start. And abundance can mean money. Could be an abundance of information. Can be an abundance of, um, of knowledge and of wisdom and of connections and opportunities, all these things to help us now be in the greatest alignment for these new lives that we're going to be stepping into. The next card coming out for us is another one card. It's a 10, which is a one, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is now turning in our favor, and we will be as lucky as... I've named him Gabriel the Mouse. He's in all my major arcana cards, and he's very lucky because, look, he's found it found popcorn morsels after the fair has left in that box. And that's how blessed each and every one of us is going to be. Now, with clearing up that it's 33 years of karma, generational karma, ancestral karma, we don't have to play out those anymore. And the Wheel of Fortune is spinning and is bringing, bringing us a clear slate now to work from. And isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful to know that every word that we utter, every thought that we think, every action, every feeling in our heart, we know that it's creating our reality. And so we're really conscious about where we put our focus and on what and with whom and the environments that we're in. So that wheel is turning for us. Next we have a wonderful card. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is the giving and the receiving card. Look at those little animals. The chipmunk has his hands wide open as the raccoon and the skunk do. They're just waiting for those coins to drop. The coins could be, as I said, information, connections, events that are so miraculous that they're so bizarre, they're beyond anything that our human mind could have figured out. But the trick in all of this is being able to receive, and we receive by saying thank you. Thank you, I claim it for this new to come in because it's mine. I am a for reflection of God's source creator, and in the higher realms, I can do, be, and have whatever I wish, and I do not have to compromise. And that feels, it feels so good because if you're on the earth plane, I don't care how old you are, if you're in human form, you have compromised at one, one stage or another and felt how it was meh, it was just okay, but it wasn't what your heart desired. Now we open to receive. And um, uh, on my Angel Healing House Blog Talk Radio Show, which is every week on Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, I mentioned to one of the callers, you can call in for free mini angel readings on my show. Um, I mentioned to one of the callers that, um, you know, um, that I had counseled um, three spiritual teachers this past week. And they wanted to know they'd done everything Spirit had asked them to do. They followed their intuition and they, and they did everything. And still, they were coming up with blocks. Um, and, and it caused them to ask people for money. It caused them to ask favors of people. And I said, look, I said, the last 10, 20, 30 years, you have given. You were the giver. I said, it's now time to receive. And you can see it as being humble and put in a position to have to ask. Or you can say, now I'm opening to receive. But this is a wonderful card. The number six is the card of coming back into balance and harmony after the changes and the challenges of the number five. Next card coming out for us is the Knight of Pentacles. This is the the most secure, stable um, uh, foundation, a uh, strong foundational knight in the deck. His horse has four feet on the ground. You can count on this that is coming in for you. It's not a fly by night. It's not, oh, you know, wait, waiting. This is going to happen, but wait for the other shoe to drop. 
This is the dependable night. And what is coming in for many? We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. So far, out of the five cards, we have three Pentacles and two Major Arcana cards. So this is the steady foundation that is coming in for many on where they're going to be living. And the reason that you're going to be um, uh, directed and your intuition is going to tell you where to live is because your soul tribe is there. These are the people that are going to be um, uh, supporting uh, um, either financially or emotionally or uh, physically to help you move or, or all of these things or help you get set up. And they're your soul family and they're the most comfortable and familiar for you. So a really secure, stable foundation for you now to build your new life on. Next card. This is your soul tribe family. This is the six of cups, so we have two sixes. We have six six, and we have three pentacles and two major arcanas. Well, this is the nostalgic card. This is the sentimental card. You know, when we get together with people from our soul tribe, there is no time. There, there. It's so comfortable and it's so familiar and it's just the collaboration and the connection that, that we're going to be um, loving to be uh, in connection with them. And uh, many are going to be um, connecting with passion projects and new endeavors and new structures of light to, uh, to build this new world of light of ours. It is also the card of children. So perhaps you'll be doing something uh, with children and teaching and, um, and making the world a better place for all. I love the blossoming of the flowers and the two beautiful angels there. And our last card that we have is another one card. And it's the Ten of Cups. So we have one Ace of Pentacles, which is one. The Ten is the Wheel of Fortune, which is one. Well, we have a new cycle with the world card, but we also have the happy, the happy family. And this is this points to the soul tribe again. This is the happiest abundance card in the deck, emotional fulfillment that we're feeling. And once again, we began with celebration and we're ending with celebration. We are celebrating the wheel of fortune turning in our favor finally being able to receive that steady foundation in our life that is going to bring in those new abundant beginnings to us with our soul tribe. And they want you, they want you, the Posse of Angels and I want you to celebrate now. Let's just have a peek under the deck and see what comes out, which is the Emperor card. The Emperor card is the bossing up card. And when we boss up, we certainly do not compromise and settle for any less. They're bringing my attention to the flow of those divergent waterfalls and how now our lives will seemingly flow and we will be in the flow for all those things to come to us. So I hope that's been helpful for you. If you would like to find out any more about my services or book those services, please do call Angel Healing House, which is 831-277-3716. Remember that specific standard time. Or you can always go to my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. Don't forget to tune in to Angel Healing House Blog Talk Radio Show my weekly um, show now and it's 12th and a half year and uh, and if you want to call in pray free many angel reading do so um, and that's again on Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time um, go out everyone in fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself I'm wishing you love and angel blessings as always and uh, look so forward to speaking with you again next week take care everyone bye